It is good to love many things, for therein lies the true strength. Be clearly aware of the stars and infinity on high. Then life seems almost enchanted after all. I dream my painting and I paint my dream. nature and art and poetry and if that is not enough what is enough there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people a great fire burns within me, but no one stops to warm themselves at it, and passers-by only see a wisp of smoke. I don't know anything with certainty, but seeing the stars makes me dream. Normalcy is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk, but no flowers grow on it. If you hear a voice within you say, you cannot paint, then by all means, paint, and that voice will be silenced. I put my heart and soul into my work, and I have lost my mind in the process. What am I in the eyes of most people? A monotony, an eccentric, or an unpleasant person? Somebody who has no position in society, and will never have. In short, the lowest of the low. All right then, even if that were absolutely true, then I should one day like to show by my work what such an eccentric, such a nobody, has in his heart. That is my ambition based less on resentment than on love in spite of everything, based more on a feeling of serenity than on passion. Though I am often in the depths of misery, there is still calmness, pure harmony, and music inside me. I see paintings or drawings in the poorest cottages, in the dirtiest corners, and my mind is driven towards these things with an irresistible momentum. Close friends are truly life's treasures. Sometimes they know us better than we know ourselves. With gentle honesty, they are there to guide and support us, to share our laughter and our tears. Their presence reminds us that we are never really alone.
the sadness will last forever. What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything? If I am worth anything later, I am worth something now. For what is wheat, even if people think it is a grass in the beginning? I am seeking. I am striving. I am in it with all my heart. The fishermen know that the sea is dangerous and the storm terrible, but they never found these dangers sufficient reason for remaining ashore. Art is to console those who are broken by life. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. I try more and more to be myself, caring relatively little whether people approve or disapprove. Great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. I want to touch people with my art. I want them to say, he feels deeply, he feels tenderly. I am always doing what I cannot do yet in order to learn how to do it. It is with the reading of books the same as with looking at pictures. We must, without doubt, without hesitations, with assurance, admire what is beautiful. At present, I absolutely want to paint a starry sky. It often seems to me that night is still more richly colored than the day, having hues of the most intense violets, blues and greens. If you only pay attention to it, you will see that certain stars are lemon yellow others pink or green, blue and forget-me-not brilliance. And without my explicating on this theme, it is obvious that putting little white dots on the blue-black is not enough to paint a starry sky. I always think that the best way to know God is to love many things. The heart of man is very much like the sea. It has its storms, it has its tides, and in its depths, it has its pearls too. The beginning is perhaps more difficult than anything else, but keep heart, it will turn out all right. It is looking at things for a long time that ripens you and gives you 
a deeper meaning. There is peace even in the storm. Exaggerate the essential, leave the obvious vague. I wish they would take me as I am. To suffer without complaint is the only lesson we have to learn in this life. Love is eternal. The aspect may change, but not the essence. There is the same difference in a person before and after he is in love as there is in an unlighted lamp and one that is burning. The lamp was there and was a good lamp but now it is shedding light, too. And that is its real function. And love makes one calmer about many things. And that way, one is more fit for one's work. Someday, death will take us to another star. Your profession is not what brings home your weekly paycheck. Your profession is what you're put here on earth to do with such passion and such intensity that it becomes a spiritual calling. The sunflower is mine, in a way. Admire as much as you can. Most people do not admire enough. I can't change the fact that my paintings don't sell. But the time will come when people will recognize that they are worth more than the value of the paints used in the picture. The only time I feel alive is when I'm painting. If you don't have a dog, at least one, there's not necessarily anything wrong with you, but there may be something wrong with your life. I am still far from being what I want to be. I will not live without love. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. In spite of everything, I shall rise again. I will take up my pencil, which I have forsaken in my great discouragement, and I will go on with my drawing. We shall have had enough of cynicism, skepticism, and humbuggery, and we shall want to live more musically. Only when I fall do I get up again. Let us keep courage and try to be patient and gentle, 
and let us not mind being eccentric and make distinction between good and evil. It is a pity that as one gradually gains experience, one loses youth. When I have a terrible need of, shall I say the word, religion, then I go out and paint the stars. Just slap anything on when you see a blank canvas staring you in the face like some imbecile. You don't know how paralyzing that is, that stare of a blank canvas, which says to the painter, you can't do a thing. The canvas has an idiotic stare and mesmerizes some painters so much that they turn into idiots themselves. Many painters are afraid in front of the blank canvas, but the blank canvas is afraid of the real, passionate painter who dares and who has broken the spell of you can't once and for all. One may have a blazing hearth in one's soul and yet no one ever comes to sit by it. Passers-by see only a wisp of smoke from the chimney and continue on their way. I experience a period of frightening clarity in those moments when nature is so beautiful. I'm no longer sure of myself and the paintings appear as in a dream. I feel such a creative force in me. I'm convinced that there will be a time when, let us say, I will make something good every day on a regular basis. I'm doing my very best to make every effort because I'm longing so much to make beautiful things. But beautiful things mean painstaking work, disappointment, and perseverance. Don't lose heart. If it's very difficult at times, everything will work out all right and nobody can, in the beginning, do as he wishes. But for one's health, it is very necessary to work in the garden and see the flowers growing. Why, I ask myself, shouldn't the shining stars of the sky be as accessible as dots on the map of France. Just as we take the train to get from town to town, we take death to reach a star. We cannot get to a star while we are alive any more than we can take the train when we are dead. So it seems to me possible that cholera, tuberculosis, cancer, are the celestial means of locomotion, just as steamboats, buses, railways are the terrestrial means. To die quietly of old age would be to go there on foot. 
seek only light and freedom and do not immerse yourself too deeply in the worldly mire. Success is sometimes the outcome of a whole string of failures. Those who love much, do much, and accomplish much, and whatever is done with love, is done well. Love is the best and noblest thing in the human heart, especially when it is tested by life, as gold is tested by fire. If one only keeps loving faithfully what is truly worth loving and does not squander one's love on trivial and insignificant and meaningless things, then one will gradually obtain more light and grow stronger. We are surrounded by poetry on all sides. If you work with love and intelligence, you develop a kind of armor against people's opinions. Just because of the sincerity of your love for nature and art, Nature is also severe and, to put it that way, hard, but never deceives and always helps you to move forward. <laughs>